welcome to Heroes Martin Homeschool Academy. My name is Mrs. Nita. Let's begin with a word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, it's good to have you with me. This is week 32. Good job. You've, you've been with me since week 30. I mean, since the first week. Good job. We are way into this curriculum. This is the front cover of this week's workbook. Uh, inside are um, both 32A and 32B um, lessons, as well as the memory verse on the front cover. So take care to commit that memory verse to memory, and I believe you'll be rewarded by God because of it. Let's begin with our warm-up song. So go ahead and stand up wherever you are, and we're going to warm up together. Here we go. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands. If you're ready to learn, stamp your feet, bum bum. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come and sing with me. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands, clap, clap. You're ready to learn, stamp your feet, bum bum. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come along with me. Yay! We are ready. We're ready to learn, and I'm ready to teach. So that's a good thing. Great combination. Well, let's begin with our, um, we're on page six. We're going to be talking about our consonant sounds again. We uh, left off in our previous lesson talking about the letters B through P, 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 P. And we went over the sounds that those letters make, the sounds. <laughs> and um, we're in this lesson and in the next lesson, we're going to be reviewing the consonant sounds from qua all the way to z. So um, let's begin. You can just uh, say it with me or say it after me if that's your preference. Qua, er, s, t, v, w, x, y, z. Let's try that again. Qua, er, s, t, v, w, x, y, z. Good job and good memory. So those are the consonant sounds that we'll be focusing on in this and in the subsequent lesson. And I believe you have enough pieces of information to complete activity on the activity found on page six and your reading exercise on page five as well. You may pause your video at this time. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. Let's move into our handwriting exercise. We're writing the number 14. The number 14 is a combination of two numerals, the number one and the number four, brought together in that order, one and then four, together make the number 14. So let's practice it um, together. You can find this exercise on page nine. And, um, so we have the number 14 is one and four. One and four. We've practiced both numerals in the past, number one. So right now we're just really practicing how to put them together side by side so that we can use them in our own writing. 14. 14, 14, 14. You're really just taking note of space if you do not have the workbook and if you want to take notes. Just be mindful of the space in between the numbers. Let's go ahead and spell this word out as well. We'll start with the letter F. O. U. R. So there's four. There's our base number four. Now we're going to add teen. E mm -hmm. 14. That's how you spell the number 14. Keep in mind we do this exercise for two reasons. Number one, for identification, so you can identify this number if you see it. And uh, number two, to keep it to be mindful of space in between the letters 
as you're using this number for your own writing uh, purposes. Let's try to write this number again using the spelling. We have F O, the U will follow the O, R T E E N. And there we have the number 14 written. Good job. If you need a few more moments to work on that, that's perfectly acceptable. Go ahead and press pause on your device and return when you're ready to continue. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. We are going to move right into our Bible history segment of the lesson. We love to take time to, to review different characters in the Bible who both pleased and displeased God. And we like to find out more about them so that we can be better positioned to please God in our own lives. Uh, we've talked about um, numerous characters and we've talked about prayers that we've learned um, so that we can begin to recite them for our own uh, uh, lives as well. Perhaps prayers before you sleep, prayers before you eat, your meals. Um, we had an opportunity to look at different qualities of God. We've talked about some of the qualities of the Lord that he wants to see in us as well. We've talked about joy and love and kindness and patience and faithfulness and all those beautiful virtues. And we know that we want to have those virtues in us because God wants to see them in us. And um, so what we're doing today is we're going to be reviewing another character in the Bible, someone you've heard about already. But it's an acute little story that I think will help to stick with you perhaps a little better than maybe the way we've told it in the past. This story is that of Noah and the Ark. And it's a fun, it's a fun book. It's called Good Night Ark. So let's see what it's all about. Here we go. You can follow me along here on page eight if you have the workbook. Good night, Ark. Bye. The creditors are here at the bottom. And let's begin. Beds are ready, food is stored. Noah hollers, all aboard. Guests rush forward, furry scaled, woolly feathered, swishy tailed. Time for bed, it's getting dark. Find your buddy on the ark. Two by two to bed they creep. Noah yawns, it's time to sleep. And then, Pitter pat, it rains, it pours. Noah sleeps, but not the boars. Grunting, groaning, bam, wham, scram. Into Noah's bed they cram. Pop, pop, ping, ping, pelting hell, pounce the rooftop and wakes. <laughs> the quail, flapping, flying, up they zoom. Squeeze, squeeze, squawk to Noah's room. Zip, zing, lightning spooks the sheep. Bah! They run enjoying the heat. They're all jumping into Noah's bed because of the weather, the inclement weather. They're like, it's lightning and thundering. We can't sleep. We want to share the bed with you, Noah. So everyone's jumping in. Crash, boom, rumble, thunder quakes. Wakes the elephants and snakes. Thump, stump, slither, up they scurry. Crow by Noah in a hurry. They're all getting close to Noah, squeezing into his bed. Rain, rain, more rain, arcs afloat. Nervous tigers rock the boat. Pouncing, pawning, up they dash. Into Noah's bed they crash. Now, ark is tipping, tip, slip, slide. Noah wakes up as they glide. Faster, faster, rumble, shake. Watch out, or this bed will break. Yikes. Snorting nostrils, blaring trunks, tumbling riders startle. Skogs, P.U. stinky, fumes are thick. Back to bunks now, double quick. Go back, here comes the skunks and they have sprayed their fumes. Everyone is terrified. They're running away because it stinks so badly. Softly, Noah starts to croon a soothing, sleepy nighttime tune. Whoosh, 
to the wind begins to howl, this time not one beast or fowl. Makes a single squeak or peek for all are snuggly fast asleep. Noah smiles in the dark. Good night, friends. Good night, Ark. The end. That, that's a really cute story. I really like that variation of the story of Noah and the Ark. At this time, if you like, you may press pause on your device and complete the exercise on page eight. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. What we're going to be doing now is moving into our mathematics segment of the lesson. Um, we have been talking about skip counting to the by fives um, since the previous week. And we're going to continue to practice this again this week. It's important to feel comfortable counting by fives before you get to kindergarten. And actually, even if you don't master the concept before you get to kindergarten, that's okay. It's okay. But it is a good skill to learn and to be exposed to. Um, the earlier you're introduced to skip counting, just the funner you'll have because you'll be able to count tons of things quicker and much more efficiently when you're counting by fives. And so, um, so that's the purpose of this. It'll set the foundation for later um, exposure to a higher mathematical concepts. And uh, so we may as well have fun and be exposed to it now. Um, we have a timeline here. I tried to replicate what you have in your workbook and we're going to just go through it together and fill in the missing, actually fill in all of the timeline. And we'll start with five and we'll work our way all the way up to 100 counting by fives and we're going to do it together. If you choose to, you can just work through your workbook as we're doing this. We'll do it together. Okay, so we're here at the very beginning. The starting point of our timeline is zero. A timeline is just a, a line that has these, and they're actually called a number line to be more appropriate, but you call it a number line or a timeline. So, uh, these lines will help us to distinguish between one number and the next number. The very first number that goes here for our present situation is going to be five. And by the time we finish, we will have plugged in all of the numbers and it should get us to 100. And the same with your workbook. So let's see if we can do it, okay? So we said the first number is five. Okay, so the first number is five. And if we're counting by fives, what comes next? Five, 10. Yes, 10, you see it in your workbook. The next number is 10. Five, 10, what comes next? 15, yes, 5, 10, 15. This number is 15. And then what comes after 15 if you're counting by fives? 20, 20 comes next. And then after 20, if you count up by five, you get to 25. And after 25, the next number is 30. 30, and this number is on your number line. After 30, you add five to that. Counting by fives, you get to 35, 35. 30 plus five is 35. And then from 35, you get to 40. 35 plus five is 40. After 40, when you count up by five, you get to 45. 45 and just as a just for a pause really quickly you'll be able to see that pattern a lot you'll see 20 25 30 35 40 45 so I'm guessing you can you can make a prediction as to the next number it'll be 50 20 30 40 50, this number is 50. And then when you add five to that, you get to 55. That's right, 55, 25, 35, 45, 55. 
When you add five more to that, you're back in your tens, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then you add five to that, you get to 65. When you're counting by fives, the next number is 70. When you go up by five, you get to 75. Get, if you continue, get to 75, 70, 75, 80. 80, the next number is 85. And then when you continue, you go from 80, 85, 90. And the number just before 100, when counting by fives, is 95. 95. So now that we put all of our numbers on our number line, we're going to say them out loud. And um, you may have completed your, your uh, number line as well. We'll just say the numbers out loud together. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Good, way to go, 100. And just in case this helps you, I'm going to go through and underline all the fives so you can see them quite distinctly between the five since we're counting by fives, you can see how they keep reoccurring here on the bottom. Okay, so when you're counting five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 5, 50, 50, 5, 60, 60, 5, 70. Can you hear that? 5, it just continues to reoccur. So I um, underline that in case that helps you. And uh, we'll continue to work through this next week as well. So no pressure at all. This is all just a lot of fun. Just fun so we can um, begin counting by fives. And if you need a few more moments, you may press pause on your device and uh, continue to work through page 13 and return when you're ready to continue. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. We are in our Make a Joyful Noise segment of the lesson. It's always fun to stop and just get back and uh, tune with God and just have a great time worshiping Him. Get your instrument, whatever instrument you may have, cymbal, tambourine, piano, xylophone, organ, you know, whatever you have, you pull it out and we're going to have a great time in God right now. We're singing hallelujah. You can find the lyrics to the song on page 27. And I will be using my, actually, I'm gonna be using my handbill. Okay, so here we go. Hallelujah, 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 praise be the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise be the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. One more time. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Yay. We made a joyful noise to the Lord, it's good to do that often. 
Well, good. We are just moving right along in our workbook. We are in the basic skills section, so you may feel free to turn to that page. You can find it on page 16. And we've been talking about our senses because it's so much fun to uh, be familiar and aware of what God has given us. And oftentimes I find that because we get so used to what the senses God has given us, we forget to say thank you. That's what I've noticed. It's like, it's time to eat dinner, you know, or, you know, I wake up in the morning and you look at your clock and you just get so used to being able to see. But one thing I appreciate about this section um, of, base, of the basic skills segment of the lesson is that it gives you an opportunity to reflect on what God has given us. And so we want to take advantage of opportunities to thank God. So we are talking about this sense of taste. And it's the sense that a lot of us enjoy, especially if you like a really well home-cooked meal. But what can you think of? Can you think of some foods that you just enjoy more than other foods? Maybe there's something that mommy cooks that you just really enjoy. Like, mommy, please cook that for me. Daddy, please prepare that for me. I want that for dinner tonight. What you are experiencing when you and when you have that pleasure or enjoyment from eating your food is a sense of taste that food touches your tongue and either the texture or the taste something about it sends happy signals to your brain and consequently you say i like that food and so um think about some things that you enjoy eating or tasting or maybe the texture of something um, or maybe it's just a drink, maybe like a cold beverage of lemonade, whatever it is, and just think about that. Just take a few moments to think about, hmm, I like that. Hmm, I like that too. Ooh. And then as you're thinking about that, allow those thoughts to propel you, sort of compel you to say thank you to God for that sense of taste. And so you can just as you're thinking about foods that you enjoy, you can just think, well, God, thank you. Thank you, God, for giving me such a wonderful sense. Imagine if every time you ate something, it had the exact same taste and texture. You know, imagine you ate one particular food for the rest of your life, and it was a bland food with no salt or anything. You know, you would just, <laughs> it would be boring. So um, thankfully, we have a wide variety of things to choose from and our tongue knows it. So take time today and thank God for that. But in the meantime, the exercise here on page 16 tells us to draw and color pictures of some foods we enjoy most. So if you um, have a few moments, you may press pause on your device and complete that exercise at this time. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. A note to uh, parents and caregivers who are helping the student with this. There is a, in the smart craft section, we call it arts and charts. You will find a high five Christmas and it's a um, little activity the student can do. It is a craft. The student can fill in the, the circles with their fives counting from five to 100 and the very first one's done. So there's a five that will just complete the, the number sequence there, uh, adding 10, 15, 20. And um, the number 10 is actually here. The 10 is a yellow star and it goes at the top of their Christmas tree. And then the other numbers, they will glue onto their Christmas tree as ornaments and they will color their ornaments, Christmas colors, maybe green or red, something like that. And something, it's really just for them to have fun and um, enjoy uh, being able to color and cut and glue things together. But um, it is the end of another great lesson. I'm so glad that you joined me. Ah, this would be boring if you weren't here. Just want you to know that. So at the end of lesson 32A, I hope to see you again in 32B. But until next time, goodbye, goodbye. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. 
Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. Goodbye, little hero. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 